students into the reading activity. So this is a kind of effort uh, from OSEPS Academy. And uh, we have arranged some Shakespearean uh, dramas. The original language is uh, very difficult and quite away from uh, the access of the students in the matter of understanding. But thanks to Mary and Charles Lamb that they have written in the prose and they are easily available online and you can buy it. So I have suggested the students that they should buy and they should read. So in three of the shifts, uh, this book uh, I have started and I have started with the, uh, the classic works of Shakespeare. So you can see this much ado about nothing, very famous work of Shakespeare. This is the comedy of Shakespeare. Want to tell you, want to define what is comedy. Comedy is a uh, genre uh, in the Shakespearean uh, term, uh, full of tension, conspiracies, love and romance. Uh, but in the end, there is a very satisfying and happy end. So this is called the comedy. There are many other comedies uh, like Tempest, As You Like It, uh, Much Ado About Nothing is one of them. So you can see on the board, these are the themes and they are the dominant themes which are written and uh, they are responsible uh, to create Ado. Would like to define uh, the topic that uh, what does uh, it mean and uh, what does it carry uh, for the student to understand. Now, ado means confusion and in the end you can see that uh, uh, nothing. So lots of noise, lots of commotion, lots of confusion, tension, but the basis was nothing. The foundation was nothing. Uh, if we look at the grounds of all the ados, of all the confusion, of all the tensions, so that was mere nothingness. So if we see number one theme of this uh, uh, play, so all the Shakespeare's works, you know, initially they have been staged. So that's why they are called play and they, they were, you know, dramatic plays. So number one is marriage. And uh, just have a look at uh, the characters also. So this is the list of the characters, the students understand. Uh, so these are the list of the character, Claudio and the prince, Hero, uh, it's the name of a girl. It's not Hero, it's Hero. Uh, she is uh, uh, Leonetto's daughter, then Benedict, he's a prince, then Beatrice. She is cousin to the main character, Hero. And then we have Leonetto, he is the father to Hero and the uncle to Beatrice. Then Margaret and Ursula, they are the servant girls. And then John Pedro, another prince of Messina. So Messina is the place where uh, this uh, where this play is taking place. And then we have uh, Boratio and John Don, they are the two negative characters. And the, finally we have Priest. So these are the characters of this play. So starting with marriage, marriage, uh, you know, from the first, from the starting to the end uh, is uh, quite talked about and quite discussed uh, theme of much ado about nothing. So like in the starting, uh, when uh, the three gentlemen come from uh, the war, so Leonato arranges a meeting between uh, the girls and the three gentlemen. Who were the three gentlemen? Um, Leonat, uh, Leonato arranges a meeting between Claudio, uh, Benedict and uh, John Pedro and uh, there were the two girls, Hero and Beatrice. Uh, you know, in the first place, uh, Claudio and Hero, they uh, fell in love with each other. But Beatrice and Benedict, uh, they are quite... Uh, uh, like uh, they are having the bent of mind, they do not like each other. So they are uh, having a kind of, uh, uh, they are having a kind of nature that uh, uh, they, 
dislike each other but on the other hand uh, his very good friend claudio thinks that uh, there should be a kind of a bond of love between uh, um, beatrice and benedict so that was out of question because beatrice was the person she was hating marriage and uh, benedict was the person who did not like to be married so this was the confusion so you can say that the start of the ado so was here like beatrice was the person who did not like man and uh, benedict was the person who did not like to be married but claudio and hero they were quite happily engaged in the first of the scenes so they were making their wild efforts to you know get them engaged so leonato was uh, engaged also in that crime <coughs> why i am saying this crime because this was against to the will of beatrice and benedict two main characters so lies and deceit so i would say that uh, the most important theme of uh, of this uh, uh, play is lies and deceit because uh, in uh, uh, in this play if there had no uh, if there had not been any lies if there had not been any deceit then there uh, wouldn't been any confusion like uh, beatrice was told uh, by hero that uh, benedict loves you even he did not love her and uh, uh, benedict was told uh, was told by his friend claudio that beatrice loves you on the other hand reality was different like lies falsehood was told from both of the side from the side of the girls that she loves benedict actually she was hating him so this was uh, uh, you know the ado that lies was told lies about benedict that beatrice loves him and lies about beatrice that benedict uh, loves him so means vice versa so all it was lie but in the reality they both were hating so this was the conspiracy conspiracy so that's why this play is called also the problem play so children should understand that it's it was more like problem play than the comedy play and not only this this was the this was the only ado but there were many other you know confusions there were many other problems to come and what is the deceit deceit means claudio and benedict they were quite friends and claudio was quite uh, mature and he should not tell you know uh, such kind of a responsible lie to his friend that uh, even a girl is not in love but uh, he tells him that you know she loves you so it was quite serious crime and in the end it becomes a quite serious crime then language and communication in every uh, shakespearean uh, uh, play or work you would find language is key and uh, the character they debate they converse in a very mighty uh, language so in this way in like on the stage just just imagine that these things are are played so when the audiences are watching uh, these things so uh, the language and communication uh, is really supreme so in the, even you are reading the prose so this uh, uh, book is in the prose Uh, which i am teaching to my students in this academy at oseps like <clears throat> written by uh, mary and uh, charles lamb they these both are brother and sister so even when you are reading prose uh, but the la- language and communication is is really nice love love is not the dominant theme then the marriage and uh, lies and deceit but again uh, like much is talked about marriage then the love but again Uh, like between hero and claudio there is a love and between benedicts and uh, uh, beatrice there was no love but again you know a great uh, references or great mention of love is there like uh, there is a negative character uh, john don who secretly loves hero uh, who conspires and contrives uh, to get her but uh, he couldn't succeed but he provides a kind of harm so love is there as a theme then respect and reputation like uh, 
you know what happened in the in the kingly uh, you know uh, households uh, where the respect uh, and reputations are hurt then a uh, much damage is expected to be done like uh, in the mid of the play when uh, uh, the ado reaches to its uh, full bloom uh, when uh, uh, beatrice comes to know that uh, uh, benedict is not in in real love so it was all rumors that was spread against against her so so she thinks that it was an attack towards her reputation and towards her gender so gender is also the theme like uh, uh, beatrice is a very strong woman she is not accepting woman like hero is a very accepting and credulous and simple simpleton woman but on the other hand the cousin beatrice is very uh, you know strong woman she does not accept she does not does not yield she does not submit you know to any other's will she said that i am a person of my own if i am going to uh, select any person if i am going to accept any person so i will accept you know if i wish if i want okay but not on the force not under the heel uh, of anybody else i'm going to accept you know benedict so respect and reputation is also felt when uh, hero is rejected by claudio you see in the end uh, when hero uh, is uh, uh, accused falsely by claudio that uh, she is not having a good character so at that time uh, the reputation and respect uh, are hurt and uh, then the father leonato uh, thinks very bad and he challenges uh, the prince uh, claudio for a duel so why he challenges uh, the prince you know just for the family honor just for the reputation just for the respect so this is also a very important theme then we have transformation transformation means when you are taking another's place transformation means when you are changing uh, the places when you are trans when you are transforming you know your entity your existence uh, your uh, position temporarily so we have seen this uh, when margaret uh, the servant girl you know she was the attendant to hero when she transforms and when she changes her clothes and she becomes when she becomes hero and th- when she gives the uh, gives the impression to claudio that she was hero not the margaret but actually she was margaret but again there was a doubt there was confusion in order to create the conf- confusion she just uh, gives the impression to the onlooker to the person who was watching her just wearing the clothes of hero that she was hero but actually she was not hero so here she transform transforms herself as a hero but she was not hero so this was the transformation and uh, another transformation uh, in this play uh, we can see uh, uh, that was uh, uh, when uh, the priest uh, the priest decides that uh, the uh, the hero should be declared as dead when she was not dead actually on the last day of the wedding when uh, uh, claudio declares that uh, i'm not going to marry a bad charactered woman so at that time out of shock uh, the lady goes unconscious and uh, everybody believes that she is unconscious but later on it was declared that hero is dead but actually hero does not die so this was another confusion this was another do and uh, so there is also transformation like uh, she was just uh, uh, like out of the scene for some time but uh, they just you know created a kind of make believe uh, situation that uh, she is dead so that uh, the claudio uh, should come to realize her his mistake uh, gender is also um, a less dominant uh, we have seen that in uh, the plays of shakespeare uh, women are not uh, the integral part or very pivotal uh, roles uh, they are carrying as compared to the main character as compared to the male characters uh, but in this 
play the women are given uh, the good lineage and the women are good given the weightage uh, we cannot say that uh, women are given the good weightage than the men but uh, we can say that uh, approximately equal weightage to the men and then we have pride so there are two types of pride are shown in this play one is the uh, false pride and other is the good pride like false pride was carried by uh, Clad uh, was uh, Claudio like he was having a false pride when he sees Margaret wearing the clothes of a hero so it was his false pride pride that he that, that, that he says that uh, it is uh, it is a hero and that is talking to a stranger man on the day on the night of the wedding so it was the misjudgment it was the misunderstanding it was uh, the misconduct and uh, he uh, simply you can say that a patriarchal person showing his masculinity against uh, the weaker sex that uh, and by pronouncing his decision that I'm not gonna marry a bad character woman uh, who does not carry a good character simply on the basis of his own calculation he did not go into the detail he just outright decides that the woman is characterless but on the other hand hero was having a very good character and it was all the misconception and the misjudgment or the confusion and in the end everybody knows it so uh, really uh, this uh, play is full of confusions and uh, mayhem uh, it's really um, you know lots of trials and uh, but in the end when you read this you know everything comes to satisfaction Thank you.